Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know it's All City Live TV. Thank you for tuning in. Relentless Finisher. We're going to talk about the changes made this year for NBA 2K20. The badge has an absolutely new function this year, so we're going to tell you everything you need to know in order to equip this badge. Mike Wang released a tweet explaining the badge function and how it's going to work this year. He says, Relentless Finisher is more energy fatigue related. Contact Finisher boosts your ability to hit the shot. They work hand in hand though. In previous years, all you had to do was equip the Relentless Finisher badge and you were good to go. But this year, what you're gonna wanna do is equip this badge to work hand in hand with a multitude of other badges. If you're an inside player trying to attack the rack this year, then you're gonna definitely wanna equip Relentless Finisher. But what type of inside player? This is what you wanna consider. What type of inside player are you going to be? Are you gonna be someone who um, finesses layups? going to be something like a Kyrie Irving type of player, then you're going to want to equip Relentless Finisher with the Acrobat badge. If you're going to be an inside Euro Stepper type of player, then you're going to want to equip Slithery with the Relentless Finisher badge. And if you want to be out there catching bodies, dropping people on their back this year, then you're going to want to equip Contact Finisher along with the Relentless Finisher badge. You can compare this badge to the Tyler Shooter badge. The Tyler Shooter Badge allows shooters to take shots while they're fatigued or in low stamina without affecting their shooting percentage or the percentage of the shot going in. And to understand how important this badge is going to be, you know in previous years with Tyler Scorer, as Tyler Shooter was previously known, competitive shooters normally had this badge on Hall of Fame. And you're gonna wanna do the same thing with the Relentless Finisher badge, depending on how often you wanna attack the rim this year. Now we all know badges are gonna be extremely limited during grind season, and we're gonna have to choose wisely when selecting or equipping our badges. I know a lot of you guys are wondering what level you should equip your Relentless Finisher badge. In order to determine the level you should set your Relentless Finisher badge, depends on what type of finishing you want to have so if you really want to attack the rim this year then you want to have the relentless finisher badge on gold or hall of fame as i would assume that most inside dominant players will have their contact finishing also set to gold or hall of fame but if you just want to have some finishing in your build and you only set your acrobat slithery or contact finishing badges to silver then i would also recommend setting relentless finisher to silver so to summarize this video, the Relentless Finisher Badge functions very similar to the Tireless Shooter Badge. The Relentless Finisher Badge is used to negate fatigue and low stamina while you're attacking the rim. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, mash that like button, share the video if you can. Easy y'all.